So I'd like to introduce the FirePro RT220, the first ever remote graphics card designed to replace the local user's workstation system while still providing them the full CPU and GPU performance of a local system. The FirePro RT220 solution is based on a technology called PC over IP developed by Teradici. This involves a host solution with our graphics card, which takes the regular dual display data, compresses it, integrates a keyboard and mouse USB data, sends it out over a regular IP network, over a LAN, a WAN, or even a, a VPN solution. With this thin client device, essentially all of the remote data is being transferred through this Ethernet jack directly into the monitor. From this, this data port, the dual to screen data, data is being, of course, displayed onto this Samsung screen. And the second output is being outputted directly from the Samsung monitor to a regular DBI monitor for dual screen data. So with the FirePro R220, you do your work here your 3D, your video. But the things that do the work are not here. The things that do the work are on your remote workstation. Here is a more familiar computer with its CPU, system memory, and the graphics card, including the FirePro RT220, which outputs all the mechanical, all these computational, all the graphical work that you usually expect to have from a full-blown computer, except it outputs it to a thin-client device much further away. Thin client is here. All the work, done, all your hardware is over there. All the work gets done over here. One of the main benefits of having this kind of thin client solution and you, is that you lower the power requirements. And by lower the power requirements per user, you, first of all, uh, produce much less heat in the environment, producing a, a more comfortable environment, less air conditioning costs for these crowded urban sites. You also have less clutter as the actual environment for the user is far less dense, far less cluttered, and therefore you have more room for other uh, devices that may be needed. Also, by having less power here, you're able to save power. And by saving power in a crowded skyscraper environment, that means you have more power available for more users. Now, the power is not saved. The power is just simply being transferred to a remote site. That remote site can certainly be one mile away, 100 miles away, or 1,000 miles away, where power is more easily accessible, where power might even be less expensive than would be in downtown New York or London.